Hey guys, it's your buddy, your pal, it is the IT Collector, and today I'm gonna to be doing an awesome review on this iconic Batmobile, uh, modeled after the original, um, I guess, Batman movie, 1989. Um, so this is a, a replica of that. Um, it's, it's pretty big, it's in uh, the, the six inch scale. Um, I also have the, the Batman that goes with it. This is all from the Flash movie that's coming out. Um, I also have the 12 inch Batman from 1989 version. Michael Keaton is the actor. And then over here, I also have the 18 inch uh, NECA uh, version of the 1989 Batman as well. Um, so pretty cool that uh, this is coming out on the big screen again. You get to see them. It's gonna be the nostalgic factor, of course, but also just an awesome concept for the Batmobile. The only other famous Batmobile is probably the one from the 60s, um, which uh, if you're not that old, you probably don't care or don't appreciate that one. But this one just looks sleek and cool. Um, I can't wait to open it up. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna give you a review of my thoughts on how, uh, how it compares, because um, it's kind of rare to see uh, something this size for the six inch scale figures. So I'm gonna open up the, the Batman figure itself, look at that, and also, uh the car so without further ado let's take a closer look at this big boy right here so before we uh get into the inside of it this is the box itself um it tells you that it's 60 uh centimeters long 22 inches of course it's from the flash movie and then the back just shows uh the same thing and a little bit close up and then shows you that uh it fits most seven inch figures um and uh, that the, I guess the cockpit or whatever you want to call that driver's seat opens up. So not much to the box, but for right now, when you pull it out of the box, it comes with a, a lot of this cardboard type stuff here. Let me take this off. And it's wrapped in this plastic here. So there you are. So there it is, that's the front right there. Let me put it on top here. And then it also comes in the box, these uh, two other, uh, I believe these are the fins that are uh, in, the, in the box as well. So we'll attach those right now. So let's take a nice close up of it. Not bad. I'll give you a better close up shortly. There's that iconic front. And there's the side again. I'll do a better close up in a second. But yeah, so that is it out of the box. Let me uh, open up these fins and attach them. So there we go. Now I have them attached. Now it looks like it's supposed to be. So there are those two fins right there. Um, let's open up the cockpit here. I'm not sure how to do that yet. Let me, let me see how we do this. I think we just oh, pull it down and it slides out. Here is the trading card, if you will, that comes with every, uh, every uh, action figure by McFarlane. And it has a little bit description there. And this is the data file they uh, call it, I guess. Anywho, that's inside. And let's get a better look at the inside of this guy. So there you go. You can see the steering wheel. There's a little bit of detail, I guess, with the gauges. They, they did make them separate, uh, little, little um, indentions there, not just totally all black with absolutely no detail. You can see the seat there. Um, some stuff on the side. What is it? Maybe batteries or something? I really don't know. Looks like leather seats. And let me see if we can get a better angle here from the top. So there you go. There's a good look at the gauges on the, the instrument panel of the, the dashboard. Um, so then to close it, you just slide it back and up or down. And then here you can see there is a color change. So this is gray and this is black. So that's kind of interesting. Um, one thing I noticed, mine has, seems like some scuffs or something on it. 
that kind of sucks but it is what it is you can see a little bit of indention there uh, the tire itself is it is actually like a rubber material so that's good I thought it might be plastic it's got the cool Batmobile symbol there you could like painted the engine or exhaust part uh, silver color so that's good it's not just one solid cheap color this is the bottom now the bottom definitely uh, looks like a toy just plain Jane not too much detail which is fine I didn't expect that um, but yeah that's what that is for you guys that love to customize maybe this is a great project here is the back here let's get a better angle there there is the back no flames come out um, nothing moves as far as I know we got the vents here the exhaust and the tail lights so that's pretty cool or standard um, now let me get the action figure and try to place him in here and see how hard or easy that is so I'm gonna get him out of his box there he is from the flash movie and just so we know there is the comic uh, or artist rendering of Batman from uh, the Flash. So let me open it up, modeled after the eight, 1989 Batman. Okay, got him out of the box. Let's see ink in here. Oh, it has a nice cloth cape. As you can see there, that's pretty good. Um, just so you know, he has these two other hand grips and uh, the battering and the grappling hook as well come with him so not bad pretty standard so here he is i mentioned before this is a six inch scale this is actually seven inch scale that's what mcfarland does as opposed to um, marvel which is in six inch scale um, which i'm sure you already knew that so there he is let's do actually a good close-up of his face Get the focus of his face right there so this is supposed to be michael keaton um i do like the classic uh rubber look of the outfit and the nice yellow batman um this is the one that i grew up with so i think it's pretty cool i did like the the the, the more recent ones um with christian bale the dark knight and batman begins that those are actually really good more serious compared to these uh kind of cheesy ones from the 90s in my opinion anywho let's try this let's uh pop open the driver's seat and let's bend him in here and kind of gotta force him in got his cape oh that's not too bad at all so there we go pushed him in he is in there um, I do notice that his ears might get cut off. Let's see. Yeah, so his ears are a little stuck. So um, that's kind of weird. It's, it's designed for him. Let me see if I could mess with it and do it uh, so he actually does fit in there. Let's see. Maybe I got to go down more. Let's see. Move this out. not working i'm trying to move the head and i could not do it i don't think there's any more foot room but uh close enough uh looks like you might have to you know ride around like that so let's open it up let's get him out of there still not bad i mean maybe i could have uh, adjusted the feet or something to make him uh fit a little bit better in there but for right now, that is uh, not cool. Um, so the car itself, uh, it definitely has uh, a toy feel. It does not, it does not um, feel uh, like a collectible, anything special. It is all just a very light plastic, um, not much to it. Uh, I... I I don't know it does have a toy feel i thought it'd be a little more heavy duty but it is not but i cannot complain i still think this thing is pretty awesome i mean look at the way that looks with him there i mean isn't it just gorgeous <laughs> 
So there you go. There is a nice in-depth review on this beautiful machine right here, or I guess collectible, if you will. Um, it is. Uh, it was a joy to open up and look at. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you subscribe as always. And it's not just going to be uh, Batman stuff. I have a lot of McFarlane stuff, Marvel stuff, as you can see. A lot of stuff from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. Um, for example, Predator, Ninja Turtles, Terminator, uh, Back to the Future, uh, Lord of the Rings, all types of stuff like that. And of course, Star Wars. So I hope you enjoyed this review. And as always, stay collecting, my friends.